Back in 2013, we actually consulted with the St. Louis Police Department to use computer vision to track down the location of a lost grave. And so it was actually a young crime victim who in 1983 had been decapitated and she had been buried in the cemetery that's across from Lambert Field. And they wanted to exhume her to do modern forensic analysis to try and figure out who she was, where she came from, but they couldn't find her grave. Well, it turned out they had pictures of the burial. And so one of the things that our lab has expertise is, is in identifying where photographs were taken. And so we said, well, why don't we look at this and see if we can figure out where the picture was taken. We were able ultimately to identify the location of her grave site using computer vision techniques. And so based on that, we started thinking about what are other ways that we can get involved in kind of doing good in the world with computer vision. I actually got recruited to do the FBI Citizens Academy, which is where they bring in leaders from the community to learn about the FBI. And we one week we're talking about sex trafficking. Uh, and that happened to be a week that the St. Louis Post-Dispatch ran a story about this idea that a local group had to create an application. And the idea behind that application was to take pictures of hotel rooms so that law enforcement could then search through that to figure out where victims of sex trafficking were being photographed. And so that's how we got involved in building Traffic Cam with this group called the Exchange Initiative here in St. Louis. Traffic Cam is two parts. One is an app that allows anybody to contribute pictures of hotel rooms that they're in into a database that can be used for law enforcement. And the second part is a portal where law enforcement people that are involved in an investigation and have a picture that they want to find out what hotel it comes from can upload the picture and it's compared against all the images in the database in order to find the match. There's an incredible sense of people wanting to help and not knowing, knowing how to help across a lot of different social justice issues. Taking a picture of a hotel room is a pretty small thing that you can do, but it actually has practical outcomes, and that's, I think, why this is so exciting. This is an issue that people really care about and feel sort of helpless, that they, there's nothing that they can do. And so it's been really, really nice for us to provide this sense of empowerment that just by taking four pictures of your hotel room, you can do something to actually legitimately make a difference in such an important issue.